Oh, an interesting question has come in about dating services. Um, someone's asked, are they able to date online without revealing their private information? So that's a really, really good question. So with you could imagine in the future a multi-party dating protocol in which people enter all their details and then some algorithm runs in the cloud and matches and finds their perfect mate for them without actually the cloud working out You know what the... Uh, preferences of the male, the female, or whatever it was in who were trying to date. Someone's asked how games are used in cryptography. Well, games are kind of used in different ways in cryptography. We use games to express um, how to break a system. So we, we make a kind of, uh, we make a game between an attacker and a defender, and the attacker wins the game if he breaks the system, and the defender wins the game if the system isn't broken. And we use these games to argue about security. And that's kind of one application of what we call games. And we also use kind of uh, things like what's traditionally called game theory um, that you might have seen in the movie A Beautiful Mind to um, analyze what happens in overall systems as uh, different people in a, in, a, in a system compete for different resources and try to maximize their, their return from the system. So there's kind of two word uses of the word game occurs in cryptography. Uh -huh. Someone's trying to make a lot of money here. Someone's asked us about the P versus NP problem. So first we've got to actually understand what the P versus NP problem is. At its heart, the foundational problem of computer science is, is P equal to NP? In other words, are easy problems equal to the set of hard problems in some sense? Now, if you could prove that P was equal to NP, this would mean all the hard problems were just as hard as the easy problems. So if you could do that, then you could break public key cryptography and you could steal all the money from all the banks on the, in the planet. On the other hand, if you proved that P was not equal to NP, you would then be able be showing that there are some hard problems out there that we will never be able to solve quickly. And so that will give us more confidence in the security of some of our encryption schemes.